Mr. Mayor, would you, what would your reaction be to people who are saying that uh, you are in your depth and some of your members in KZN saying that you should be removed? Uh, good morning, Masiko, and to your viewers. Of course, people are allowed to have their own views. When we came in here last year in August, we took a municipality that was under administration, that was in, very, in a very deep financial situation. As we complete the year now, I can safely say we are standing the ship. Surely we are turning the corner. Uh, of course, it's up to anybody to witness that. Uh, when we came in, we were always the headline as a city that we are a city of faith due to the state of dirtiness in the city. Currently, everybody and everybody in the city can bear witness that. Uh, that is a thing of the past. Uh, you go to all the streets of Umsunduzi currently, it is better. Of course, we face the huge challenge of the landfill site that was on fire uh, between just August and now, I think it's almost five times. But most of that was not due to mismanagement of the landfill site, but it was due to what we believe is man-made. Of course, we have left that to the law enforcement agencies to investigate. Mm. But on our part, we believe we are doing very well currently. We Mr. are Mayor. indeed. Uh, Yes, ma'am. I just want to interject there, and you'll forgive me. You keep saying you're turning the corner, but this week the ANC PEC retained its decision that the provincial government must keep your municipality under administration. So it would seem, uh, you know, you have not made any progress since coming on a year ago. Of course, we welcome the decision of the PEC, and I'll tell you why we welcome that decision that the municipality must still be under administration because there were few areas that had to be attended to. One was the cleanliness of the city, which I'm saying we have turned the corner. The second one was the issue of revenue in the city, which, of course, if it was not due to COVID, 19 outbreak, I would be safely saying we are better. But the only area that is still outstanding, that needs, that still needs attention, is the issue of the forensic investigations that had been happening. We have not finalized that. And one of the reasons why that is not finalized is because whilst the SIU is busy investigating some cases, we are also dealing with some internally. It's a lot of suspensions that have ha had happened to our administration. That one is a long process. Remember, we respect the labor laws of the country. And uh. we are believing in the principle of innocence until proven other. But we are also finalizing that. And that is the only area that is still left in the items that were raised that led this municipality to be under administration. We are moving with speed, of course, with the administrator, Mr. Stello Duma. Mm. Surely before no time we'll have finalized that. All right. And then only the SIO because it mm. is up to them as to how long are they taking in their own investigations, which I believe in some instances they have also advised us and we have already made decisions in where they had finalized, but there are still outstanding areas that they still need to further invest. All right, Mr. Mayor, so we're running out of time. I have one more question. Now, the Finance Minister, Tito Mboweni, announced the termination of funding for the city's ambitious and uh, integrated public transport system. And you, Mr. Mayor, were very disappointed in that decision and said that the city will have to raise money for the mega project. How much have you raised so far, and where did you get that money from? Uh, partially, the provincial government has come on board. The premier made a commitment during his state of the province address that they will be assisted, assisting us. We have also put some funds into that. But again, because we have, turned, we have a turnaround strategy on the RPTN uh, program, the minister nationally, both the Department of Transport and the National Treasury are considering changing their views. Of course, it will be up to them. We have made a presentation to the Portfolio Committee on Transport 
we believe that because that was a very setback to the service delivery to our people. We believe with the presentation, with the turnaround strategy that we presented to them, there is going to be some changes. That three years is not going to be three years anymore now. We believe when the minister makes his speech early next year, we will be considered to be continuing getting that funding because it is going to be a huge setback mm. should we not continue with that program. All right. Thank you very much, Mzi Tebula, uh, coming to us live there.